Hey guys, how are you doing? So this is Ikra Aslam and today we're going to make a full wave rectifier circuit and in the previous video I have made the half wave rectifier. So, but today we're going to see how we can make a full wave rectifier on the multi-sim. So basically it has two methods. Uh, the first method is called the center tapped full wave rectifier which is made with two diodes and the second method is bridge rectifier in which we use uh, four diodes that are arranged as a bridge. And we all know that what rectification is, like it's the process of converting AC to DC in simple words. And I'm not going into details very much of its theory and working and stuff. So if you're interested, then have a look at this PDF that I have left in the description box. So you will see the details there. So let's start. So first of all, we need a function generator and you can use the AC source instead of it as well. What the hell I'm doing? Yes. And after that, we're gonna need all the components. So let's begin the show. Go to diodes. We are using one double and four double zero seven. Let's rewrite it again. Since we are making a bridge rectifier, so we're going to need four diodes. And a resistor. Go to the basics and then resistor. We're going to use 10K. Okay, we will use 10K resistor. And uh, after that, like the most important thing that I almost forgot was the ground. So it's like without the ground, our circuit is very incomplete. It's not gonna work. So we all need a ground and that's it. Now, since we have all the components, so now it's the time for the connections. Just do the connections and we will be done. So I'm sorry for that noise in the background. These boys live horizontally. And just for our ease, we're gonna uh, flip these two diodes horizontally as well. You know, just connect the wires and rotate it 90 clockwise or whatever. Sorry. And attach the ground. Okay, so <laughs> basically uh, my connections doesn't look really, it doesn't really look like a bridge, but oh, what the hell? I'm really sorry. So I was saying like my connections doesn't really look like a bridge, but if you really see the this whole circuit, then you will get to know that it's confirming the topology of the bridge circuit. So that is it. We have made it. Oops. Now for the output, we're gonna bring the oscilloscope connect the channel A to the input. And the channel B to the output. And uh, so basically I'm changing the color of the wire because, sorry for the disturbance in the background guys, it's really hectic these days. So I'm changing the color of the wire to see the difference between the input wave and the output wave on oscilloscope. This is the only reason behind this. Don't get confused. Start the simulation and see the circuit. Okay, one thing that we forgot to do is to change this stuff, this whole stuff, like I'm setting frequency to 100 Hertz, the amplitude to let's say five, Wow, 
this looks really awesome. So you can see this amazing result in which the wave has been fully rectified. Thank you for watching and subscribe, like, and don't forget to share it with your friends. Goodbye.